Smart 42451. We're going to be doing an entire EVAP canister here. And there's your part number, Alpha 451-4700159. It's a genuine part. Here's what's in the box. To no surprise, it's a full EVAP canister. Normally people would just try to buy this to, for like $60 or $80 trying to save money. When you're doing this, make sure that tab is up on the right hand side, right there. It's locking this canister into place. If that wasn't all the way up, you would be able to twist this counterclockwise and remove this piece. It's got the electrical connector. It's got the hose. This hose is a blank. It doesn't connect to anything. It's got two more over here. And the way it connects to the gas tank is these tabs, one, two, and three. Let me show you where it is. So for the 451 models, it's going to be on the driver's side. Here is the canister right here. This is it. All you have to do is lower these panels. They're held in place with these long 10 millimeter bolts. You just undo them and you get to the canister. Here's some of your connections. And the way you're going to get this off, first you're going to undo the connections, but the way we're going to be getting this off is if you look at the way it's mounted, you saw the sticker. It's mounted to the fuel tank with these tabs. So once you disconnect your connections here around the canister, you're going to be pushing it that way towards the front of the vehicle. And what that's going to do is it's connected here and you're going to push it and it's going to disconnect it from the fuel tank and you'll be able to lower it that way. But I'm going to get under there. It's very tight, so I can't really show you, but I'm going to be undoing these two, undoing this electrical and undoing this hose. So that took forever. Make sure you completely get these out of your way because you're going to want to uh, use a creeper to get under here. What you're going to do is you're going to remove that bolt right there. I'm going to show you where they are. So they hold the fuel tank. It's up here, here. I took two down and then I loosened the other, the other ones over there. I loosened them so you can move the fuel tank. So the fuel tank now moves. And the reason for that is you have to drop it enough because the EVAP canister has these three tabs that it slides on and they're right here. And the only way to get it to push out, because when you push them, they hit this frame right here and it won't go far enough towards the front of the car to unclip. So you have to lower the tank a couple of inches. It's really easy and I'm, that's my left hand. I'm pulling it up and down with half a tank. It's pretty light, it's all plastic. Basically you push it forward towards the front of the car. After you unplug everything, and this is what comes out. We hooked up a, a um, compressor with um, mineral oil and we hooked it up to this this hose here there was nothing hooked up to this and this side is blank it's a blank so it doesn't go anywhere but there's nothing hooked up to this and there's no hose there so i'm assuming this just stays like this but we hooked up the hose to this we sent smoke into this we couldn't see any smoke coming out of the system we couldn't see any smoke coming out of any lines anywhere so we're going to assume that either this valve is bad or the canister is clogged or something else is going on so out with the old in with the brand new. Here's a comparison of the two canisters. As you saw in the beginning of the video, this is a factory part. And there's the old part number 451-4700-159-002. I'm guessing that's revision two. Surprise, surprise. 451-4700-159-002. Literally the exact same part and the exact same revision number. These two are exactly identical. Through our connections, this cost us $200, just south of $200 American dollars for a brand new part directly from Mercedes. Yes, we have dealer connections, but I think the normal price is like $260 or $270. You can find these for about $240 on eBay, so they're not that expensive. But the exact same way we took this one out, I'm going to pop it back up, slide it into place, mount the fuel tank, hook up the electrical connectors, hook up the two hoses over here. Um, the thing about the hoses are is they use these permanent clamps. So I'm going to use some standard hose clamps and get it nice and snug without breaking the plastic. But let's put everything back together. So now you can see all the panels, everything's back on. We've got our old unit here. There's some cheap clamps I was using, if you're curious. I think I got these on Amazon. These are some garbage. They're just cheap trash. But anyways... There's this tab here on the new one. I assume you're gonna watch this whole video before you do it, but this tab, if it's not all the way up, you will be able to unscrew this. 
So my new canister, and this is this is the valve a lot of people just buy. My canister, when I got it, I should have showed you this on video, but my canister, when the new one, when I got it, this tab was all the way down and it wasn't engaged here. What that means is with the vehicle driving, as it vibrates right there, you can see it, it could open up. So if you're replacing your canister, make sure that this tab is pushed up like this. That way it's in the lock position and you can't, you can't open it and vibrations will not have it, you know, unscrew itself. So make sure it's in that position right there when you put the new one on. Or if you think yours is, you know, coming off, or if you find that yours is like unscrewed or something, make sure that it's in this position here, because when it's like this, it's open and closed. Just make sure it's closed, you know? So with this card, that's it. We have the canister on, ignore that. But the next step is going to be to go ahead and hook up scan tool, delete all of the codes. That way the EVAP, everything resets and then go for a drive cycle and see what happens. My personal baby is right there, just chilling out, waiting for me to come back to it. But either way, that's it. I hope this helped you out. Hope you learned something today and have a nice day.